All right, I'm gonna try and make a quick video on how to run multiple Roblox games. So what you're gonna do is just go into your browser, go to um, search for Roblox Alt Manager, click the GitHub link. I'll probably put it in the video description as well. Go to uh, releases on the right side and then and download the zip file and save that to downloads and then in your downloads folder you can open it up i'm going to copy the folder out of here to somewhere where it's easier to use but you have to copy it out of that so zip file you have to take this folder out of the zip file so you can put it on your desktop or something um, so once you have it out you can run the program uh, okay extract all oh sorry okay scratch that we're gonna pretend like that didn't happen i was running it from the that's what happens if you um that's what happens if you run it from the uh the zip file it, it tries to extract it so okay now we're not in the zip file anymore right so here's the program run it um, say yeah sure uh, I'm gonna use default encryption but you can do whatever you want I'm actually gonna close the program real quick once it opens and I'm gonna open RAM settings .ini, and we're gonna look for multi where is it hmm I don't see it in there Okay, we're gonna, this doesn't take too long. We'll just we'll keep it going here. Uh, hide multi-Roblox alert. Multi-Roblox, okay, okay, here we go. So, sorry, it's been a while since I've had to redownload the program, so it used to be a, a setting in the file. But anyways, so once you have the program open, you go to the gear icon in the top right, it's the settings. Open that up and there's multi-Roblox. So we'll check that and then we'll close it. After that, right click in the box, add account. And then it's gonna take you to the Roblox page. Uh, it's not phishing or anything. The program is open source. So if you know how to read code, you can read all the code and you know, it's not stealing anything. It's just, this is how it's gonna save your account, right? So now it's here. I'm gonna add a second account just for showing multi accounts. Okay, right, so now we have two accounts. So I'm gonna go to Roblox real quick and get the uh, uh, place ID for Pet Simulator. Right, so uh, I'll try and explain it real quick. So we have the accounts right here, right? So we'd select one of them and then there's the place ID and that's like the ID of the game you wanna play. So if we search Pet Simulator 99, and then we click on the game, the place ID is the number in between games slash, and then the place ID slash, and then the name of the game. So we're gonna copy it out of there, paste it in the place ID, we're gonna click the save icon on the right. And then if you have a uh, private server, you can put it in the, uh, the link to the private server in the job ID box and that's how you can uh, join your private server. So, but we're not gonna do that this time. So if we have the first account, we're gonna click join server. I'm not sure if I have to relaunch Roblox Alt Manager when you uh, turn on multi Roblox. So we'll see if it works the first time. It's just moving. I moved it to my other screen. So you can see here's one, right? It's the new account. 
So we're in the game, then we'll click on the other account. Same thing, the place ID, save it, join server. Oh, whoops. That one's still open, it's just moving stuff to my other monitor. But we can see we have two, rob two uh, games open at the same time, they're in the same server. So you could imagine if you have a bunch of alts that are uh, that have good pets and they're in the last area, they can all be here helping each other uh, break the blocks for a bonus, and you'll get more items and coins and stuff that way. So uh, the next thing I'll show real quick in this video is how to not get kicked for AFKing. We're gonna use a macro recorder called Tiny Task, so we can search that on Google. I'll click the download. We'll click the latest version, 1.77, download it. Um, for ease, we will put it in the same folder as our alt manager that we downloaded. All right, so if we go back one, we have tinytask.exe. We'll load that up as this little thing right here. So we can change in preferences. We can do recording hotkey F8 and then playback hotkey F12. So then you can imagine, right, we could do F8 to start recording, shows it up there. We can go click into the window, hit spacebar to make them jump right, not AFK, and move over, do the same thing in this one, hit F8. That stops the recording. And then we want to set it to continuous playback. Um, and that'll make it so it just keeps doing the same loop over and over again. Um, and so that way you can do it overnight or at school or work or whatever. Just know obviously it's going to take uh, more electricity so your power bill is going to be higher and stuff like that. So, um, But once you have it on continuous playback and you did your recording, you can save it if you want. Uh, but after that you just hit your play hotkey or you can do the play button and it'll take control of your mouse and uh, click into your games and do that stuff so you won't get uh, kicked for AFK. Alright, so that's it. Thanks. Good luck.